Somewhere deep inside in our space lies an object that is pulling just about everything towards it, including our own galaxy with a gravitational force equivalent to a million billion suns. Our universe is filled with mysteries as we are limited by the technology that we have, or sometimes it could be an obstruction caused by another object in space. The Milky Way is already traveling at a speed of 1.4 million miles per hour or 2.2 million kilometers per hour, traveling at least 2,500 times faster than a cruiser airliner. But nobody knew what had been dragging the Milky Way for all these years until the 1970s when we finally found an answer to this mystery. Keep watching till the end to know more about this object that is consuming galaxies like no other. Galaxies are fascinating and also play a vital role in showing us how the matter in the universe is organized on a large scale. In order to understand the nature and the history of the universe, scientists study how matter is currently organized and how that organization has changed throughout the cosmic history. In fact, scientists also examine how matter is distributed and how they behave at multiple size scales in order to understand what our universe is all about. From peering into the way matter was constructed at the subatomic particle level to the immense structure of galaxies and dark matter that span the universe, each scale gives us important clues as to how the universe is built and evolved. This is why galaxies are significant in unlocking our knowledge about deep space. But how did the very first galaxies form and how did we end up with a large variety of galaxies that we see today? Even today, galaxies are still forming and assembling. There are so many examples of galaxies colliding and merging to form new galaxies. In our own neighborhood, the Andromeda Galaxy is headed towards the Milky Way for a likely future collision which will happen in a few billions of years from now. Scientists today know that galaxies existed about 1 billion years after the Big Bang. While most of these early galaxies were smaller and more irregular than present-day galaxies, some are very similar to those seen nearby today. Ever since the Big Bang, our universe has been expanding constantly in every direction. This means that the space between galaxies is getting larger every day. Perhaps what is slowing down things would be the presence of enormous clumps of matter. And you know matter is attracted to matter which is why we have galaxies in the first place. But that's just not enough for astronomers to calculate so many things about the universe because deep inside the space lies a massive gravitational anomaly known as the Great Attractor. Over the course of billions of years it is pulling us and all the galaxies near us closer to it. So what exactly is the Great Attractor then? A Great Attractor is an apparent gravitational anomaly in the intergalactic space at the center of the local Laniakea supercluster in which the Milky Way is located. The observed anomaly already suggests a localized concentration of mass, millions of times more massive than the Milky Way galaxy itself. However, it is inconveniently obscured by our own Milky Way galactic plane lying behind the zone of avoidance, so that in visible light wavelengths, the Great Attractor is extremely difficult to observe directly. In fact, it would take another 100 million years for light to be on the other side of the Milky Way galaxy, and only then we would be able to see past the galactic plane. Several scientists from NASA believe the Great Attractor could be one supermassive black hole, while others say there could be a group of black holes within a close vicinity attracting our galaxy considering the fact that they have strong gravitational pull. It makes the claim justifiable as our galaxy is being pulled in a certain direction and only a mass with a gravitational pull is significant as a black hole could exhibit something like this. When it was discovered way back in the 1970s, it was named the Great Attractor because of its effect on everything nearby, and although what exactly it is made of is still a mystery because the disk of our own galaxy is blocking our view. But scientists have already come a step closer to understanding what is the Great Attractor, and experts already suggest that it is not going to destroy our galaxy because of a very mysterious force known as dark energy. Now, for those of you who don't know, dark energy is still a very important mystery, and it turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is made of dark energy. Most scientists consider dark energy to be a property of space. Albert Einstein was the very first person to realize that empty space is not nothing. The cosmos has amazing properties, many of which are still uncovered. The first property that Einstein discovered is that it is possible for more space to come into existence. The other version of the gravity theory, which contains a cosmological constant, makes a second prediction that as empty space can possess its own energy and because this energy is a property of space itself, it would not be diluted as space expands more of this energy of space would appear because of which this form of energy would cause the universe to expand faster and faster. As of now the Great Attractor is at least 400 million light years away. That gives us about 13 billion years before it approaches the event horizon. NASA's Hubble telescope also took a picture in the direction of the Great Attractor, and it could only be spotted as one grand flash of light, because of which astronomers and astrophysicists do not have much information to back their claims. So is the Great Attractor really a glorified black hole that we need to worry about? Well, black holes have been a subject of fascination and occasionally marked its presence as reference in science fiction movies. 
Over the years, black holes have a really bad reputation because people portray them repeatedly as monsters of the cosmos as they are known for devouring stars, crashing planets, and even portals to new dimensions. But despite all the noise, they're actually not as scary as people think. Yes, if you get close to one you'll be killed, but that is the same case with any star. Our planet has almost no chance of ever encountering a black hole, and even if we did, it would have to come incredibly close to cause any real damage. One thing about black holes, what most people don't realize has to do with the fact that they are actually solid objects. Unfortunately, it is impossible to ever see what a black hole would look like because they are so dense that even light cannot escape its gravity, hence the name black hole. These are extremely dense objects of the cosmos so much so that if Earth was to become a black hole, all of its mass would be confined within a 9 mm radius. If our Sun were to become a black hole, its radius would have to decrease to 3 km or 1.86 mile, almost a quarter millionth of its current size. For now you don't have to fear the Sun becoming a black hole, despite what movies would like to show you. Black holes only form after the death of giant stars and our Sun is nowhere close to that gigantic size. When our sun dies, it will become a red giant and then a white dwarf. But it is not going to end up as a black hole. Black holes are already one of the most well-known cosmic phenomena, and we know very little about them which is quite ironic. This is because they allow nothing, not even light to escape their gravity, and scientists have no way to observe them directly. The only reason we know about their existence is because of their observed effects on things around them and we are not sure what exists inside a black hole. If our current understanding of gravity is correct, then inside black holes there would be singularity. For those of you who don't know, a singularity is a point of infinite mass and volume. If singularity does exist they would likely bend the laws of physics around them warping both time and space. National Geographic states, singularities likely don't really exist but point to a mathematical hole in our understanding of gravity. Maybe singularities can be real, but we just don't have the ability to understand them. Maybe we are not observing gravity the way we're supposed to. Yes, black holes are one of the most fascinating occurrences in the universe, but you don't have to be worried about a black hole that might suddenly appear and destroy us. The Great Attractor is capable of consuming galaxies. This is a huge concentration of mass subsequently located about 250 million light years away in the region of the near constellation Hydra and Centaurus. The gravitational force is extremely strong which means it can affect other galaxies, their structure, and clusters over several hundred light year regions. The Great Attractor holds a great significance for every organism on Earth, because of which scientists will now have a general explanation as to what the future of our galaxy will look like. The correct interpretation of the Great Attractor still remains a mystery, as we don't have any proper resources and technology to decode what exactly it is. However, NASA's efforts to understand the Great Attractor can be counted as a small step closer to being able to fully comprehend what the universe is capable of. Thank you for watching Starburst, like and subscribe for more space videos.